Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, are y'all tired of me talking about Kiko Milano yet? Because if you do, I'm sorry. Because I got a whole bunch of new Kiko stuff that just launched in probably, I want to say like maybe the last three weeks. And I pretty much have all of it. one of the items before and the rest are all new items. And um, I guess you'll see my first impressions as I'm applying them. Uh, so, let's get started. I had told you guys when I got the the Smart Cult palettes that they had these um, Smart Face palettes that um, are a blush, a bronzer, and like eight eyeshadows in them. I did wind up picking up one. I picked up number three. It's called um, Trendy Temptations. Uh, that's the blush right there, the bronzer, and then the um, eyeshadows right here. I'm not really going to talk about this uh, simply because... I don't know, I think I've said pretty much everything that needs to be said about Kiko shadows and face powders, that they're awesome and you should probably get them. Um, these are on sale right now, they're normally $22, they're on sale right now for $11.50. Um, so yeah, go ahead and pick up a couple of those, there are three of those to suit all your needs. Now, the final thing that I got, and that I haven't even opened yet, because I was waiting, waiting to do it on camera, because it's blush. The thing that actually got me doing this Kiko haul was, Kiko came out with uh, cushion blushes, Sam. I was like, what? What? So now, um, these cushion blushes are $22 a piece, um, and then Kiko went and had a sale, and I was just like, ooh. So now they're on sale for $10.50. So, of course, I picked up all three of them. Um, and this is the little package that they come in. How freaking cute is that? Okay. Uh, you open it. There's like a mirror here. Yeah. Uh, it looks like... Okay. It. I, I haven't even opened these yet. So, this looks like every other cushion compact you've ever seen, right? So, um open it here and this is I'm gonna have to look because they're not named like they're on the website they're just numbered um, and these are called the water-based liquid cushion blush system it comes in three shades number one is rosy biscuit hell um, I'm not really sure what that means but we about to find out so, oh, that's what Rosie Bis Biscuit looks like. What I mean? Ooh, ew. Okay, I am not pleased with this development. Okay. That friends is Rosie Biscuit. well so far so bad number two is candy rose it's like really funny because if you were to see the um <laughs> the swatches on the website um rosy biscuit does not look like that at all um this is candy rose Candy Rose almost sort of looks like its website counterpart. It's much paler than its website counterpart. So that's Candy Rose, Rosy Biscuit, Candy Rose. I'm not like super disappointed yet because sometimes um, blushes can look like super pale like that and still wind up giving off a decent amount of color so <laughs> we'll try to decide which one to use to ruin my face with and finally coral which also does not look like this on the website but this one seems to have the most promise of the three f or not <laughs> Okay, so here we have Rosie Biscuit, 
Candy Rose and Coral. Um, so I'm just going to go out on a limb right now and say that Rosie Biscuit is, yeah, no, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, look at that. They don't seem very liquidy. Um, seem like they'll be pretty difficult to work in. But we're going to try. We're going to try because that's what we do. Well, I'm feeling masochistic, so I'm going to go with rosy biscuit. I mean, how disappointing. I'm actually going to use the puff that comes with it. I usually don't use these puffs because they're trash. And of course this one's no different, so we're just going to go ahead and go in with So I don't know if you can tell, but it just looks like I'm putting like milk of magnesia or some shit on my face. Okay. So These are a no. Um, number one, Kiko needs to go back to the drawing board on those swatches for the website because they are hella, hella, hella misleading. These colors are nowhere near as deep in person as the swatches would lead you to believe. I've some bronzer on my face, so this milk of magnesia situation that I got going on. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, well, thanks for tuning into my really disappointing first impressions of my new Kiko haul. I'm like super disappointed of the face palette. I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm so used to my Kiko hauls being like awesome that um, when they're not, I'm just like, I'm hurt. <laughs> Alright guys, um, it's been real, it's been fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.